two, apple, take three. And action. Time, man. You just need the goddamn door unlocked, you idiot. She tasted music too. Yo, cervical, wake the fuck up. Star Vehicle, John Craig, the executive producer, and Shari Van Dyke wanted to produce a film. So we looked for concepts and ideas. And uh, Ryan presented his idea and we looked at everything he had to bring to the table and thought it would be a really good choice to do his movie. So that's how we started. And then from there, Ryan wrote the first draft of the script and we kind of reviewed it. And several rewrites and then later here we are with that crew and making a movie. And we are here in Maple Ridge, British Columbia on the set of Star Vehicle, the up-and-coming horror film for New Image College of Fine Arts. Oh, God. Hi. Oh, I should my work right now. Can you tell us about your role player on Star Vehicle? Um, I'm just crew. I'm a script supervisor. I make sure all the content... Am I supposed to look into the camera? Oh, okay. either or, or you can talk to me. <laughs> okay, all right, good? all right. So I make sure all the continuity is in order. I fill out these little reports and no one really cares about me. Oh, of course, it is. script supervising because, okay, when it comes to film, or I guess any actor, the words are key. I mean, the, that's what you're paid to deliver, that's what you're hired to deliver. Are a lot of the actors good on their lines in this film? No, no, no. They, they like improv everything and they make my life really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mix up my stuff. Is that self aggrandizing taxi driver? I know. Come that. on, my name, asshole! Shh. Pile driver? I mean, what is this, your autobiography? Hey, don't disrespect my fucking masterpiece! Get the f my set! Shh. Pile driver? What is this? Autobiography? At least I didn't rip anybody off! I get the f my set! Get the f this, huh? Get the f off my set! You wanna dance with me? I'm ready! Let's do this! What is this, pile driver? Dude, is this your little autobiography? Huh? Huh? Get out of here! Get the f off my set! How does Ryan feel about that? How does Ryan? Ryan's all good with it. Actually, I'm okay with it too. Don's pretty much the asshole you love to hate. It's his thing. The he's, uh, yeah, he's he's kind of a jerk, but he's also funny about it at times, and and you kind of he's right is the thing, but he just doesn't go about it the right way. What's the matter, boy? I can't get your tongue. You play the director in this film. I'm playing Luke, the director. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, basically, uh, the movie that's within the movie. Uh, he's got his script, he's got all his cast and crew there ready to go, and uh, basically he thinks he's making the next best thing that's coming up. And uh, Is this the next best thing to come up? Well, not his, no. <laughs> his uh, ends up being a film in progress and never actually takes off. Yeah. So what did you do to prepare to be a director? Have you played that role before? I've never played a director before, no. But I mean, uh, just in working with uh, different directors over the past few years, whether it's uh, plays, TV, or film and whatnot, and just kind of seeing how they work. And I mean, you, you get all different kinds. I mean, you get the, some that are completely benevolent and uh, just a great deal to work with, and you have some that are you know, a bit of a chore. So I mean, you're trying to find a balance in between the different spectrums of them. And I mean, uh, taking a look at the script that Ryan wrote and kind of knowing what he was looking for in Luke and what sort of character that is and uh, just kind of uh, running with it. That was sort of my script. These are your sides? What, what in the hell? R written by Dawn, Dawn the Driver? Oh, please tell us about your role in the movie. I got this character called Sienna. She's a 19 year old girl and uh, she wants to be an actress but she actually sucks at all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> your first feature film? Is, this is my first feature film. So how does it feel being on set? Actually pretty good. Well, sometimes we're la lazy and stuff because we have to wake up like, I don't know, like at 4 a.m. And then there's times that we're like shooting by night so we don't get to sleep at all. So that kind of sucks sometimes, but it's fun. So what do you do to keep your energy level up? Uh, we drink coffee, but actually <laughs> once I had like a an overdose of caffeine and that, that was like super bad. Oh, no, what I was happened? like shaking and stuff and then I, I was feeling bad. But then I had to eat more, and that was it. <laughs> you yes. are a marvelous actress. Everyone's talking about you. Oh, really? 
tell us about your role in this movie. Um, well, I'm Jenny Gore. I'm the effects makeup artist within the movie within the movie. And um, yeah, I can tell about my hair, my makeup, and my fake tattoo. Uh, it's smearing off, which is like a punk chick, I guess. Got a lip ring. And she's hardcore. Hardcore. Yeah. So how did you prepare yourself? You know, I just went into my darker side. I don't know. <laughs> my character is introduced, uh, and, and it looks like I'm the stalker. You know, I, I go into the house, I'm trying to tr get my way in, but uh, all locked out, the key doesn't work, and uh, Don the driver uh, ensues a little chase with me and kills me in the bar. And cut! This is the first time really that the school has gone into this full steam ahead with with the with the, with a crew this size a cast this big and um, you know it's it's a, it's definitely a learning experience for everybody that's involved <laughs>